Hello and welcome. A few weeks ago, I made a video showing my favorite tips and tricks and workflow strategies with Bitwig. But there was one little problem, and that is the way how MIDI program changes are handled in Bitwig. Let me quickly show you what I mean. I have two MIDI clips here, and in each MIDI clip, I'm using the MIDI program change module to change the patch on my synthesizer. So in a live set, I can play the first sequence and have the right patch associated to that clip. Then when I change over to the next clip, the sound is automatically changed. The problem though is that when I stop that clip, Bitwig automatically jumps back to whatever value there was previously. After I released this video a couple of weeks ago, something fantastic happened. A guy who's following me and my music, he's also working close to the Bitwig team, and he reached out to them and showed them my video, and after that Bitwig decided to change that feature and to repair that functionality in the next version. Yesterday the beta 5.2 came out, and now I'm going to check out if it's working or not. This is the exact same project file that I just loaded in Bitwig 5.1.7 and now we are at 5.2 beta version and let's see what happens. So that works. Let's see if we have a program change here. Yes, we do. Fantastic. And let's see what happens if I stop the clip. Nothing happens! Fantastic! This is absolutely brilliant. This is how it should be. If you have a program change message, it should change the program. If you have no program change message, it should do nothing. And this is exactly what happens now. This is fantastic. Let's move back to the other clip. Yeah, it changes to 216 and this one to 203. And if I deactivate everything, fantastic. This functionality is not only good for program changes, but also for other things like the instrument selector. This is um, the preparation of an upcoming live set that I'm going to play and record uh, this weekend. And you see that I have Pads Basic, which has a lot of different synthesizer sounds inside. Uh, and I used the instrument selector. So before I had to, to click on these different um, channels here and each one has a different synthesizer and a whole bunch of effects. It should be possible to automate this as well. Let's see if I have the instrument selector. Where is it? Instrument selector index. Yeah, so this should be number one. This should be number two. This should be number three. And that should be uh, number four. Let's see what happens. I start the first one. And we have that patch. Fantastic. Let's see what happens if I move to the next scene. Yes, it automatically changes. It should also change to this one. Wait. So now let's see what happens if I stop that. Great. Nothing. Fantastic. So this new feature also affects other things like the instrument selector, which you can also um, use to make your live sets easier. This is great. You can also do this with effects. I think there is an effect selector as well. So you could also change the effects on a per track and per clip basis. Um, and with automation, you can just prepare everything and in a live situation, fire up the new clips. Everything changes automatically. Um, yeah, it's really fantastic. So thank you very, very much at Bitwig and also at my friend who helped to, to get this moving uh, for fixing this. This is not the exciting new feature that everyone will talk about in the forums, but for me, it's a huge workflow improvement and something that makes Bitwig, which is already a fantastic program, um, an even better version of a fantastic program. Uh, and for me, it's very, very valuable to have uh, this functionality um, in Bitwig now. So thank you very much. Thanks also for watching and have a good day.